What is up guys, Xavier the Gamer back again. Now, sorry for the lack of videos lately, I've been actually been trying to keep up to date with a few things and there's a lot of things that I had to go through, but so far, so, so, so far, a lot of Kingdom Hearts 3 as information has come out, it's uh, undeniably the same amount of what I expected to come out of this situation. Mm. So, what I'm going to start with saying is, first of all, thanks to D23 Japan this year, we now have a lot more information to go on. We have a lot more confirmation in terms of gameplay, characters to appear in the game. There's just a lot we can go with, and I honestly, I don't, I honestly don't know how to fully express this. But what I will say is, after D23, they confirmed that the official release date for Kingdom Hearts 3 will be <clears throat> be revealed at E3. Now that's the dopest amount of information we've got so far. Now, we got New Worlds, we got Kingdom of Corona, we got the the Monsters Inc. world. It's obviously probably the best so far. And we got Toy Story, of course. So it's really just, we got a lot to go with so far. But I will tell you this much. With this information of going to E3, this, that, and the third, this is probably the only thing that I can say will change the game for us. Now, it was back in October that Kotaku reported that Kingdom Hearts 3, while having their release window announced for 2018 or whatever have you, they said that the game would not be released in between the first several months of 2018. Which, of course, that became a thing, obviously, and you know, you know, it's already damn near March, and you know, E3 is about three or four months away, and it's just a lot to go on. But, Kotaku also reported that they were going to get in touch with Tetsuya Nomura, who they did in fact get in touch with. He gave, he gave his little interview or whatever, and briefly stated that he wanted to take as much time as possible with creating Kingdom Hearts and making Kingdom Hearts 3 the best game that he could. Considering all the time and all the energy he spent into working on 15, which I'm talking about Final Fantasy, of course. But... Now that all this has gotten out of the way, Kotaku later reported that Square Enix is looking for a potential fall 2018 release window. Now, that is pretty dope. You can't lie about that. You know, and I'm not even going to say that's a problem because I feel like once the release date is revealed at E3, we're going to probably get a couple things. We're going to get another trailer, we're going to get some more gameplay, and probably get a demo. And if anything, around the time, say the official release is announced, we'll probably give it, I would say, honestly, I, I believe it'll probably be in between September and November, really I do, so, with that, that is the perfect way, the perfect amount of explanation to put in all of this, but, like I said, times change, you know, information can change, Kotaku could be possibly wrong, but at the same time, you never know what to expect from these kind of things, but, I have many more King Hearts videos coming up and I definitely will talk about these videos later but with that being said see you guys next time subscribe comment and feel free to keep watching my channel for much more content and yes I'm back